the problems for the practice test worked out, make sure that you have this practice test filled out and use that back page if you needed to add any additional notes. Problem number one, this is one that we need to list our a, b, and our c value. And so I'm going to get x equals negative b over 2a. This is going to find us the axis of symmetry. So I'm going to get negative negative 4 over 2 times 1. Negative negative 4 is going to give me positive 4 over 2. So I get an axis of symmetry of 2. Be sure you list the axis of symmetry. Be sure you list the axis of symmetry as x equals 2 and don't just give a number. That will be a point off. Now I can find the vertex. The vertex is going to be 2. That matches up with the x symmetry. And I'm going to plug 2 into all my x values up above. So I get 2 squared minus 4 times 2. Don't forget the negative 5. So 2 squared is going to be 4 minus 8 <clears throat> minus 5. So that's going to give me uh, negative 13 plus 4 is negative 9. So 2, negative 9. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, there's our vertex. We have our axis of symmetry. Axis of symmetry is here. Vertex is here. We have them both. They might be listed down below. Take a look. It asks for the vertex. On this one, it doesn't ask for the axis of symmetry, so you make sure you put the vertex down below this problem. <clears throat> Next, we want to know uh, if we could probably pattern graph, and this is going to, there's a 1 up front, so we're going to use 1, 3, 5. We're not multiplying by anything, so I'm going to go right 1, up 1, left one up one, right one up three, left one up three. What did I just find right there? That's the y-intercept. So that's going to be the point zero comma negative five. So you could either count down to it, say, hey, that's negative five, or realize that negative five is right there. I think we'd do one more pattern graph because if we I went up five, so Write one up, one, two, three, four, five. Look what I'm just finding here as well as here. This is a root, so that's one, two, three, four, five, five comma zero, <clears throat> and this is negative one comma zero. Those are my roots. Notice down below, it wants the roots. Make sure you write the roots as the point. Don't just give me a number listed as a point. So we had the y-intercept, so these are the things that we wanted down below. We wanted a vertex, we wanted the roots, and we wanted the y-intercept. They're all listed there, list them below. That's how you'll do it on the test. Problem number two. This one we need to go back in and we have to say that a is equal to 3, b is equal to 6, c is equal to negative 3. Let's find the axis of symmetry. So I get x equals negative b over 2a which is going to give me negative 6 over 2 times 3, which is negative 6 over 6, which is negative 1. This is my axis of symmetry. So x equals negative 1, so it's straight down right here. Okay, uh, axis of symmetry was something they wanted labeled below, so make sure you label that below, which is axis of symmetry. Remember to keep it as x equals. Okay, so now I'm going to find the vertex. So I'm going to get negative 1, comma, something. Okay, so I'm going to plug negative 1 in for each of these. So I'm going to get 3 times negative 1 squared plus 6 times negative 1 minus 3. Negative 1 squared is 1. 1 times 3 is 3 minus 6 minus 3. And we'll go ahead and do the math here. This is going to give me negative 9. If I add 3 to that, I get to negative 6. This is my vertex, so negative 1, negative 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, did it ask for the vertex down below? Yes, it did, so make sure you have that written as a point below. <clears throat> Next thing, we want to see if we can pattern graph this a little bit. So it's going to be 3 times 1, 3, 5. So that's going to be 3, 9, 15. So I'm going to go right one up three, left one up three. What did I find right there? That is the y-intercept. Okay, so that's zero comma negative three. So you can count down one, two, three, get to it, or you could realize it goes along with this. 
this was our last thing that we had to have listed down below is to have the y-intercept and we can continue to pattern graph this so I'm going to go from here I'm going to go right one up nine four five six seven eight nine left one up nine and there's our parabola problem number three this is one of the ones if you listed, you said A is 1, B is 0, there's no X term, C is negative 4. Shortcut on this one, if the B is 0, that means their axis of symmetry is automatically X equals 0. Okay, so X equals 0 comes straight down the Y axis. <clears throat> I know for my vertex, if I plug 0 into the original, I'm going to get 0 squared minus 4, so it's just negative 4. So 0, negative 4. It's right down there. That is also our y-intercept and vertex. It's the same thing. So the y-intercept and the vertex are the exact same point in this case. So 0, negative 4 is the vertex. 0, negative 4 is also the y-intercept. It's both of those. So we answered two questions with one on that one, which is great. Um, the axis of symmetry, we also, oh, did I need that? I didn't need that. I didn't need my axis of symmetry, I'm sorry. All right, so it looks like vertex, y-intercept, we have, oh, we're going to check to see if we have some roots. Okay, our pattern graph on this one is going to pattern graph at 135. The reason it's 135 is there's a one out front, so I'm going to go right one up one, left one up one, right one up three, left one up three, what did I find? That's a root. Two comma zero is a root. Negative two comma zero is a root. We have enough information to graph our parabola. Make sure that we indicate that these are our roots. And I believe it asked for it. Notice the root is a point. It's an ordered pair. Make sure you have it that way. Problem number four. This is in vertex form. So Opposite of this is 1. Same as this is 2. There's my vertex. If I know my vertex, I also know my axis of symmetry. My axis of symmetry is always the x value of the vertex. Okay, so x equals 1 is down here. And then I get 1 comma 2, which is right here. There's my vertex. Our pattern graph is going to be 1, 3, 5 because there's a 1 out front. <clears throat> so I'm going to go right 1, up 1 left one up one, what did I just find right there? The y-intercept. So at 0, 1, 2, 3, at 0, comma 3 is my y-intercept. Our vertex, so the two things they wanted us listed below, we answer the question. We have the y-intercept, we have the vertex. Those are both there. So continue to pattern graph to get a little bit more to this than you wanted to. So on the next I'm going to go right one up three, left one up three, and there's enough information for my parabola. Problem number five. This is in factored form. So this is going to give me negative one zero. Notice it's a negative. It's the opposite value of that. This is going to give me a positive three zero. These are both roots. The reason I know the roots is the, uh, the y value is zero. One, two, three is right here and negative 1 is here. So now we can start counting in. I'm going to count in 1, I'm going to count in 1. Ooh, looks like this right here, that is my axis of symmetry. So x equals 1 is my axis of symmetry. If I know that, I can then start to find my vertex because it's going to be 1 comma something. I'm going to plug it in here, so I'm going to get 2 times 1 plus 1, 1 minus 3, so that's 2 times 2 times negative 2, so that's 2 times 2 is 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. So 1 negative 8 is down here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Right down there. Our pattern graph in this case is going to be at 2, 6, 10. It's 2 times the 1, 3, 5. So I'm going to go right 1 up 2, left 1 up 2. That looks like it is the y-intercept right there. So I'm going to count down to it. I know it's 0, comma, 1, 2, 3, 4. 4, 5, 6, so 0, negative 6, that's my y-intercept. And if I keep 
pattern graphing, if I went right one up six, one, two, three, four, five, six, notice it falls there and falls there. So we have enough information to graph our parabola. And there it is. Let's see, let's make sure we answer the questions below. We wanted the vertex, have the vertex. Wanted the y-intercept, we have the y-intercept. Make sure you put them both as points. Problem number six. This problem is also in vertex form, so I'm going to take the opposite of this, the same as this. So this is my vertex. So one negative four is right down here. Okay. Problem number six, they asked for the vertex. This is one of our answers. Okay. So now <clears throat> I also know that my axis of symmetry has to be x equals one. It's always the x component of the vertex. The axis of symmetry was another question they wanted answered. We want the axis of symmetry. Now we're just looking for the y-intercept, so let's start pattern graphing. My pattern graphing is going to be 2, 6, 10, 2 times 1, 3, 5. 2 times 1, 3, 5. Okay, so right one up 2, left one up 2. What did this just find me? Yeah, that's my y-intercept. So that's at 0, negative 2. Okay. That's one of the others that we wanted to, to list out for our answers below in this graph. And then we can pattern graph one more. So I'm going to go right one up six and left one up six. And there's our parabola. Problem number seven, this is in factored form. So this is going to yield me the point three comma zero. This is going to yield me the point negative three comma zero. These are my roots. So 3 comma 0 is here. Negative 3 comma 0 is here. Let's see, did we need on that one? I needed roots. Here's my roots. So list that down below. We need to find the vertex. So we can count in between, but realize we're at positive 3 and negative 3. So my y-intercept, or my y-axis, is my axis of symmetry. Okay, uh, we have the vertex, y-intercept, roots. So axis symmetry is great. Now I'm going to take from my vertex, I'm going to plug 0 back into my original equation, here and here. So I get negative 0 minus 3, 0 plus 3. So that's 0 times negative 3 times 3. That's going to give me negative times negative is positive. 3 times 3 is 9. So 0 comma 9 is my vertex. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Did they want the vertex as one of the answers? Yes, they did. Okay, so I have the roots in that. So now I just have to find the y-intercept. Oh, wait a minute, what is that? That's my y-intercept as well. Okay, so that's the y-intercept right there. It's the vertex as well, it's the same thing. My pattern graph is going to be negative 1, negative 3, negative 5. So I'm going to go right one down one, left one down one, right one down three, left one down 3, and if I went right one down 5, I get here, left one down 5, I get there. So here's my parabola. Problem number 8. This is in vertex form. It doesn't look like it. There's nothing over here, so realize there's a 0. Take opposite of this. This is going to find the vertex, so it's positive 1, and then 0. So 1 comma 0. What is this as well? It's on the x-axis. Yeah, it's also a root. Okay, so number eight, we did not need to list the root, we just needed to list the vertex. <clears throat> so we'll list that below. The y-intercept, we don't know that yet, but we can start pattern graphing once we have here. There's a one out front, so I'm going to go one, three, five. So I'm going to go right one up one, left one up one. That's going to give me zero comma one. That's my y-intercept. They asked for that as for the, for the answer. That's one of the answers, y-intercept. And then we can continue to pattern graph. And then I'm going to go right one up three, left one up three, so on and so forth. And there's number eight. The last page is basically matching. So which, what I want you to think about is you know this goes up. It has a vertex at 0, 0, and a pattern graph at 1, 3, 5. Okay, so looking for 0, 0, 1, 3, 5, it appears this is going to be answer B. Okay, this one's going to go down, 
because we have um, we have a negative out front. My B value is zero, so my vertex is going to be zero, comma. If I plug zero in, I'm going to get zero, comma two. So I'm looking for a vertex at zero, comma two, and it's pattern graphing at negative one, three, five. And I would think that that is going to be letter A. Okay, problem number seven. I know these are out of order. Their numbering was goofy. So this one, I'm going to say, okay, I need my negative B over 2A, which is going to give me negative negative 4 over 2 times 1, which is going to give me 4 over 2. So I get 2. That's the first part of my vertex. If I plug my 2 back in here, 2 squared is 4. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8 plus 3. So uh, that's going to give me negative 1. So I'm looking for a vertex of negative 1 and pattern graphing at 1, 3, 5. So 2, negative 1. And pattern graphing, this appears, this is going to be answer D. Okay, this one's already in vertex form. So it's 3, comma 4. And my pattern graph is going to be negative 1, negative 3, negative 5. So I'm going to look for a parabola going down with a vertex at 3, comma 4. So 3, comma 4, and pattern graphing at negative 1, 3, 5. I would say it's got to be letter E. Problem number 9. This is in vertex form, so it's negative 1, comma, negative 4. This is opening up with a pattern graph of 1, 3, 5. So I'm going to look for negative 1, negative 4, and pattern graphing at 1, 3, 5. So I think this is going to be letter G. Number 11, we have a vertex at 1, negative 3. 1, negative 3, and it opens up in a pattern graph of 1, 3, 5, because there's a 1 out front. So I'm looking for up and 1, negative 3. Did I already use letter C? No, I think it's letter C. This one's going to be letter C. Okay. Next problem. Uh, I know I have a vertex at negative 1, comma, 3. Pattern graph is going to be 2, 6, 10, so it's opening up. So I'm going to look for 1, negative 3, or negative 1, 3, going up. Negative 1, 3, going up, and I think this has to be letter H. because That looks like a pattern graph, so right 1, up 2. Next problem, I'm going to use x equals negative b over 2a. So I'm going to get negative negative 4 over 2 times 2, <clears throat> which is 4 over 4, which is 1. I have an axis symmetry of 1, but I'm going to just take the 1 plug it in here. So 1 squared times 2 is 2, minus 4 minus 4. So that's going to give me negative 6. So 1 negative 6, looking for which one has a vertex at 1 negative 6, opens up pattern graphs at 2, 6, 10. So it's going to be skinnier. So 1, negative 6, 1, negative 6. I think it's going to be letter F. This is letter F. And then last problem, number 14. I have a vertex of 1, comma, 6. And my pattern graph is going to be negative 3, negative 9, negative 15. So real skinny opening down. So 1, 1, 6, and real skinny. I think this one has to be letter I. Okay, so I did these kind of quickly. So double check what you did. Um, feel comfortable with it. Put any notes on the back page you would like that would help you that you might need to fill in. I strongly encourage you not to just watch the video and write down things and act like you know it. Practice it, practice it, practice it. I would be the best football player in the world because I watch a lot of football. If that meant I'd be a good football player. Just watching something doesn't mean you know it. You have to practice it. Have a great day, my friends. Take care of one another. Bye-bye.